So, what's up guys and gals? My name is Joy. As you can see here, this video is a 21-year-old female YouTuber who says men with standards are controlling, insecure, and toxic. Now, I left a comment on this video, and before I play the video, I'm going to go ahead and, and tell you what my comment was real quick. My comment was this. I bet you she's fucked toxic, right? Because she likes toxic guys, and you'll see her photo in just a second. We're going to react to this. But she's fucked toxic several times, I'm sure. So she likes toxic. Number two, it's only a toxic... You're only toxic as a man, and I'm going to prove my point because... I've said I'm late to this party, right? So, basically, this woman's upset because some man told her he didn't like her behaviors, right? Like, hey, you know, I think we should sleep around even though we're in a relationship. And, uh, I want you to be on board with that. What do you think, babe? No! All right, he said no. And she got upset and called him toxic, controlling, and abusive, and a piece of shit. You know, all this crap. To spin the narrative, right? Of course, why not? So, I'm going to play this video by Mr. Sharp. This has 30k views, by the way. This is a 21-year-old woman who's, you know, and he says pretty much what I've already said several times. Not only to the woman in question, but in general on this channel, right? So let's play it. Let's see what the king knows. Now, keep in mind, this video was posted 23 hours ago. So that means I know my shit. That means I'm late to the party by 23 hours, but... I've covered this before, again to the woman in question, several times, and I've covered it on the channel several times. Let's rip this shit. This is fucking just, mmm, mwah, mm, I love myself so much more now, thank you. Thank you, ladies, you're doing a great job. Let's play it, here we go. I'm just gonna put the camera down so you can hear it. Oh, my mic's in, hang on. The 500th edition of TSR Live. Your daily dose of Actually, no, we'll just react. And awareness. We'll react it's hard it. to Fuck believe it. that I have done 500 of these. It is hard to believe. I don't, I don't take this for granted by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, listen, guys, even though I've worked extremely hard for many, many years to... Oh, yeah, sorry. So my comment, let's... What was my comment I left on this video? My comment was, it's funny how men are, you know, I was like, I bet she fucks toxic. And then I, I said, uh, it's, it's always, by the way... Isn't it possessive when a woman's after everything that's in your wallet? I think that's possessive. I think women are toxic and possessive too if they're after all your money, right? The irony there. The irony. The the bullet shot to your fucking face, bitches. Get the fuck out of here. Get to this point. Let's get one thing straight. I do not make it to episode 500 without you guys, and that's a fact. Guys like Freelance Ronan, who's been with me literally since the beginning when I was on SoundCloud. Uh, guys like Bob in Sacramento, who's donated over $1,800 to the show, again, starting from back in May of 2016. Guys like Miami J and Pine Frank, who have become good personal friends of mine. All of those guys and you guys have been minutes. instrumental in my success. So from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely thank you guys for making it possible for me to do what 99.9% .9 of people are unable to do, and that is to make a very good living doing what I love to do. I consider my... I, I don't take this for granted, guys. I consider right, myself to be uh, very fortunate Sorry, to be Donovan. I gotta, gotta fast forward you a bit here. All right, this is great. Possessive, jealous, insecure, abusive, toxic, etc. Now, Matt submitted this video a while back. Let me go ahead and bring it up here. He submitted this video... Of course. A while of course. Back. Of course. Why am I not surprised by her looks already, right? She got a bunch of fake up on, she got some nice red cherry lipstick, of course. She sucks mean dick. And she's got tattoos. And she's 21, but her face with all the makeup and everything and the wrinkles, I can see them already. She looks like she's aging pretty poorly. Which is true. Women age like milk and men age like fine wine. I could, I could bring up a picture from 10 years ago with my hair a lot shorter back then. I look exactly the same. It's really funny. Anyways, let's continue. Pardon me. But I've waited until now. I've waited until episode 500. Shit, to I might as well just fuck so this bitch in the mouth. I mean, I could probably pick her up, no video, problem. She's 21? Hell yeah, let's, let's go fuck, baby. Series. I want to do something cool <laughs> for episode 500, and I can't think of anything better. What's her name? <laughs> What's her name? Who wants to pass her around? What's her name? group of that I mentioned earlier, jealous, insecure, toxic, etc., etc., 
The reason that group has some uh, syphilis as around airtime as it should <laughs> is because most men, red pill aware or otherwise, don't really know how to properly address it. Anytime a man is accused of being controlling or possessive or any of those other trump card terms that women like to use when the men try to hold them accountable, men feel like they've been checkmated. No, oh, I don't want unless to be you're a dumb man. Guy, he says to himself, I don't want to be that guy who's the jealous... In Look, you're not jealous or insecure. If you've got moral codes and you want your woman to respect you by not whoring around, I think that's fair, right? She doesn't want you whoring around with a bunch of women either. You always find that interesting. I've said it on the channel quite a bit, and, and Donovan's going to say it too here in a second. As expected, he's a logical man. He understands exactly what men everywhere are feeling. This is why women are stupid. Because, again, this video has 30k views in 23 hours. And lots of comments from guys. All agreeing. All saying, fuck these thoughts. Go shoot guns and buy cars. Fuck these women. They're not even going to deal with you anymore. They've walked away. So when you bitches are still living in denial 30 years on and you have no man. And you're like, where are all the good men? Just remember that you had a good man. Or you had several good men. Or you had several guys that might have put up with your shit but also told you no to some things that you classify as good, bad, whatever the fucking term you want to use. The point is, you bitches are stupid because now you're old, wrinkly, and dying. And nobody wants to take you anymore. Do you understand? Does it make sense? Okay, let me put it this way. When I go to the shooting range tomorrow, or whenever I go, because I'm going sometime next month, that's for sure, with David, every time I shoot a round off, I'm going to pretend like it's a year that I'm shooting at the target for a woman that's dying somewhere. And I'm just going to smile. That's how useless you cunts are in, a, in America. Do you understand that? You don't like it when a man wants to go when he's talks to, you know, you're with your boyfriend, right? The moment he talks to other chicks, you flip your shit. All you women do it too. It's so it's disgusting. But yet, you're allowed to talk to other guys just fine, right? Man, that hypocrisy, that double standard. Or a man can't be possessive and controlling, a.k.a. he can't tell me no... Because he has to tell me yes all the time. I have to have my cake and eat it too. Let's hear what Donovan has to say. I'm sure he's going to say the same thing. I have no doubt about it. Let's let's find out. Secure boyfriend who projects his insecurities onto my girlfriend or wife by being controlling or possessive. Okay? Right, you don't need to control those them. Terms Go shoot some guns. Women you don't need to control them. Fuck them. Those terms that women use are what they believe is the trump card. Okay. Anytime their boyfriends or husbands voice concerns about behaviors that are conducive to infidelity... They use these terms. Yep. Jealous, insecure, toxic. Yep. Now, a lot of guys ask me, Donovan, how can I... And the best part is that that's been around since, like, the early 90s, right? It's like mama jokes. But women haven't adapted at all. They haven't, like, grown up at all mentally when it comes to uh, the possessive, toxic, and controlling arguments in relationships. So, back in the 90s, I dated women, you know, date, you know, early 2000s, I dated women that use this card all the time. And yet, it's still being thrown around in 2019 by women. That's how stupid they are. They haven't, like, grown up mentally. It's quite funny. So, but yes, a guy with morals is not going to stick around with a thotty, right? He isn't going to like something a thotty does, right? If a thotty is sleeping around and literally tells him, Hey, look, babe, I want to sleep around. Are you cool with that? He's not cool with it. He, he can get, it's a, it's a shit test, right? She's going to see how he reacts. If he says no, he's controlling, toxic, and all this bullshit. But if he says yes, he's okay in my book, right? So it's a lose-lose situation in either way, gentlemen. At that point, you might as well just go to the shooting range and shoot some fucking guns. Because fuck that woman. You don't need her in your life. She's a piece of shit. Get rid of her. Control my girlfriend's behavior, but not come off as controlling or possessive or insecure. And my answer to that is, number one, you cannot control a woman's behavior, nor should you want to. Oh, I would one of the great to, things about being in a relationship is knowing that a woman is with you because she wants to be. Right. Knowing that, knowing that when she does things for you, whether right. they, whatever they may be, you're not putting a gun to her head, and she's doing it because she loves you and she wants to be with you. She wants to stay with you. No, this doesn't mean that they do every single thing with a smile. They're not whistling and, you know, singing lullabies and doing cartwheels just happy that they can serve their men. No, sometimes her woman isn't going to like you. Sometimes she's not going to like to do certain things. Some right. 
Exactly, but that's a two-way streak, right? If she don't like certain things I do, and I don't like certain things she does, I'm the bad guy because I'm the I'm the male. Fuck out of here with that crap. I'm James Bond, motherfucker. I'm gonna go shoot some guns. Fuck you. Go do what you want, bitch. I don't give a shit. Fucking stupid asses. Sometimes she's not gonna want to put up with certain things, but the fact that she does them anyway, that's when you know when a woman truly loves you. Number two, being controlling and possessive is a good thing if you are a five percenter. If you're a man who has a shit together, you're in good shape, you have goals, you're driven, you're disciplined, you live a great life, then women love it when you are possessive of that. Women... Yeah, basically, no, let's rephrase what he's saying. Basically, if you've got a shit ton of money, you can be controlling, right? That's why I find it really ironic, right? You're toxic, you're possessive, you're controlling, but the moment when it... But yet, women always go... At least Western American women always go after a guy's wallet, right? Like greedy whores. So, hey babe, can we go to dinner? Hey babe, can we do this? Hey babe, can we do that? Money, 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 that's all I hear, right? She's real possessive about what's in your wallet, right? So does that make her toxic too? I think it does! Look at that. Equality. Don't like it too fucking bad. Love being owned by high value men. They always have and they always will. Being High value men meaning guys with money. Yeah, right. Okay. They don't... No. Even high value guys with money get financially fucked over by women all the time. Johnny Depp, Amber Heard. There you go. There's an example. The point is, Western women are damaged. Leave them alone. Don't bother with them. You want good women? Go to Europe or something. Get the fuck out of the States. A good thing. No, not because you control or attempt to control your woman. No, because you control your environment. Women don't want, listen, women do not want to have to do and plan everything. They want to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Women don't love... Yeah, they want to relax, enjoy the ride, get fat, and be fatzos. I mean, I mean, what else? Should I, do I need to say more to that? No. Why should they enjoy a ride that I worked my ass off to get to? What do they provide me? Unless they give me kids... They have nothing. What are they giving me? Love, support, and all that? I can get that from my friends. From my family. What does a woman in 2019 bring to the table for a man? Besides sex. Or possible kids if she's young. What does she bring? Babe, make me dinner on my way home from work. Okay, let me just finish sucking off this guy over here, and this guy over here, and this guy over here, and I'll make you dinner, sweetie. Really? What the fuck does a woman bring in 2019 that's in America to the table? Well, you're just a hater. You're a misogynist. Yeah, fuck all your bullshit, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck down. Men who control them. They love men who are in control. Yes, there will be times when you need to dictate to your woman what she needs to do in any given situation, but that's... Yeah, but that's what... You, right, you're right. There are times where you dictate to your woman that you're with what she needs to get her, you know, shit done or whatever. I don't really... I wouldn't say that. You could advise. Advise is a better word. I wouldn't dictate anything because, again, you can't control a woman anyways. That's why you just give up and don't control them. Fuck them. If they want to go sleep around, let them. So be it. Don't contact me, though. You know, I'm going to go shoot some guns. <laughs> so, I mean, there you go, right? Problem solved. Look at that. But, yeah, women women want to ride a gravy train that has no work involved for them. A.K.A. they want to get, they want to become fat slobs. And they want to ride on someone else's, someone else's success. At least in other countries, women have family values still, to a degree, some anyways. That's why I say it's just better to go there. You want a wife or woman? Go to another country. Do not stay in America, okay? Or in any Western country, period. Don't, don't do it. Feminism has killed these women. This is a 21-year-old with a bunch of tats, and I guarantee you guys... She's that face in that mouth have had more cum than she knows what to do with. That's why she's so stupid, right? All that DNA that's been blended with her has made her retarded, and she's only 21. Not being controlling. That's being a man. And if your woman trusts your judgment, she will make the proper adjustments according to what you tell her. Number three, 
If you want to avoid coming off as jealous or insecure, you need to be territorial. The difference between being insecure and being territorial is that insecurity is reactive and being territorial is proactive. Insecurity is a reaction after you see or hear something you don't like your girl doing or saying. Territorialism is not allowing your woman to put herself in that situation in the first place. If you do not want to look insecure about your girl getting hit on at the club, then number one... No, no, it's just a double... St let's just call a spade a spade. It's a double standard, okay? Women want men to do what they want them to do, right? So a woman wants to hold power over a man and make him bend his w you know knees to her will, right? That's what she wants. And a man wants a woman just to be loyal and a decent human being. Not really hard to do, okay? Because if she expects the guy to be loyal, don't you think he's going to... Right? Like, that's what's always... Like I said, a guy in a relationship can't talk to multiple women, but the woman has an inbox full of dudes hitting her up. I know this. You know how I know this? Because I've talked to women in relationships. I've talked to married women. Yes, you heard that correct. I was in the inbox sexting a married woman of two children. Guys. Do you understand the power... That I ha had over that woman who was married to ha have sexting conversation. Like, come on. So it's okay if she does it because she's a woman, right? But I guarantee you if her husband did it, she would flip her shit. She'd probably divorce rape him too because she's married, right? The married woman. These women want their cake and to eat it too. They don't want to share the cake at all. Not even a small crumb. That's why they get fat. <laughs> don't take your girl to the club and number two don't get into relationships with girls that go to the club oh my god got him in that so controlling and possessive you insecure loser on the contrary i didn't give her an ultimatum i didn't tell her if you go to the club we're done i simply let her know that i do not date women who go to the club if she chooses to go to the club she chooses to forfeit my commitment it's her yep. choice and hers alone and yep. this is the case with any and all requirements any man has of his woman in a relationship. Yep. So my answer to that question is along those lines. So yeah, so what he's and saying is basically you can be, you know, you're not, no guy in their right mind is okay with their girl going around and getting banged by other guys, okay? That's just common sense. So ladies, if you're hearing this from an alpha male's perspective, no guy's okay with that, okay? Especially a guy who's committed to his woman, right? You figure, oh, I'm committed to him, he's committed to me. We should be a unit, like a team, right? So, like, if we're in a relationship and I start talking to other chicks, she's going to feel some way about that, right? She's going to get upset. Or she might pull a bunch of shit tests because she's so insecure herself that she doesn't know what the fuck she wants. Do I want to keep this guy? Well, I like this guy, but I still want to go try some other experimentations. Yeah, maybe when you're in college, right? When you're 25-ish. When you're pushing 30, 40, your time's running out. And you can hate me for saying that all fucking day. I don't care. It's the truth. Do I need to show more? Should I show more? Do you want more truth bombs in your face, bitch? Because that's clearly where you like it. So do you want more? I can show you more. See, I don't, like I said, I don't need a woman to be happy. That's the best part about me. I know what I want in life, and I know what I can get in life so much as I just go outside and get it, okay? But at the same time, these women like to judge. They like to prejudge. They like to dictate to men what men can do and what men can't do, right? You go to dinner. You're her man. You must pay. She will not split the bill with you. But she wants equality, right? Yeah, fuck out of here, bitch. Okay? You want to chill at home? She's complaining about something the entire time. Because you're not spending money on her, right? Even though you have money, you're not spending it on her. She's complaining. Whine, whine, bitch, bitch, moan, groan, complain. That's all these women do. So the best thing is, if they want to leave, let them. Just let them. Right? They're not stopping you. And like I said, guys have several alternatives besides women. Guns, cars, and booze. 
What, you, you bitches thought you were special? Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're not. And by the way, gentlemen, most women can't shoot guns. Most women can't drive supercars. Because they're fat slobs, right? They expect a man to have those things. That's why they're looking for the 1%. Shocker. Get destroyed. That brings me to the video that Matt W. submitted, which is entitled, Red Flags, Your Boyfriend is Trying to Control You. All caps, with an exclamation point at the end. Yeah, it's it only, it's only control when the guy doesn't like it, right? Pageantine. Real funny. <laughs> she mainly does videos on makeup tips, but every once in a while she'll drop a video about dating and relationships. And as one can expect, at least amongst an audience she like this, she proved why most women these days aren't really worth, worth much today outside of sex. Again, boom, headshot. Listen, I'm never going click, to click. endorse or advise men to just abandon the pursuit of sexual relationships of varying degrees with women. But. I'm a lot more when understanding third, of why a lot of men have just thrown their hands up and decided it's not worth the trouble. The cheating, the branch swinging, paternity fraud, divorce rape, baby trapping, all of... Man, it's like I've spoken truth this whole time. I know what I'm talking about. And 30k other men like this video, and this guy's telling, you know, agreeing with men who have just given up. Wow. Shocker. Amazing. And I've watched Donovan's stuff before, but this, this video is new. This this topic that he's covering is a new one um, recently. But it's it's not surprising, right? It's not surprising at all, because that's all American women are nowadays. They bunny hop from dick to dick, like I said. And then they expect a the guy to commit, right? A beta bucks piece of shit. They expect a the guy with some money to commit to them, and... Buy them a house and a car. Meanwhile, she's still going to get fucked on the side by 300 guys. Uh, so you, you better be paying her way. Right? No, gentlemen. Go fucking buy a nice car. Go shoot some guns. And pretend the bitch is at the end of the target field. And you're shooting her in the face with jizz instead of bullets. You'll feel much better. Because why deal with this? You don't need to. Again, God was not only gave men women. Which are clearly damaged now and not worth your time. But God gave men beer, guns, and fast cars as well. You don't even have to try, gentlemen. There's so many alternatives for you. Look at that. You have three other ones right there. Beer, guns, fast cars. I don't see women in those in that category at all. Of those three, anyways. Guns are really cool, by the way. Fast cars are really fun. And beer is just a commodity or a drink to go with all that. And do some fucked up shit. Okay? Why put up with one of these? Seriously. You already know this bitch is a slut. Just look at her red lips. She wants to get fucked in the mouth. I wonder if I could bounce in her DMs and say some nice things to her for five minutes and then put my dick between her lips. These Bet you she's easy. More, she's probably things, easy. All of these risks are very real and present dangers for men who decide to pursue women sexually and trying to mitigate your risk. That's a lot of work. So while I don't condone on just giving up, I don't condemn it either. Anyway, this is going to be a three-part episode because this girl gives, dude, she gives, dude, she gives way too much red pill truth. So let's go ahead and break this down because this girl represents the embodiment of a culture that cultivates the worst female characteristics. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Today I wanted to talk about a certain topic that I feel like goes on a lot nowadays and not a lot of people talk about it or really address it or tell you like the warning signs you should look out for. I know so many girls personally that I know that get into relationships and even I've been at fault for this, like getting in relationships with guys that are just possessive and like alpha males. abusive. Okay. Alpha males, right? Because that's what you bitches like. You can sit here and say all day long you don't like that shit. You fucking cunts like that shit. You like it. Right? You wouldn't sleep... Like, dude, I swear to God, the only reason a woman sleeps with a beta is because he's got money, right? Like a rich beta, right? Like the one presenter. That's the only reason she sleeps with him. is because she wants to get pregnant so she can take him to the ringer, a.k.a. divorce court, and fuck him financially in divorce or whatever. Or marry him and get half his shit or more, right? If he's super rich. But deep down, she doesn't love the beta. She loves his funny money. 
Meanwhile, the alpha male, the king of kings, that's the guy she loves, right? The only downside is he's the guy that will tell her no. She doesn't like it when he tells her no. Man, I'm fucking amazing. I'm real good. Look how quick I bounce back. You bitches are hilarious. Fucking funny as shit. Possessive is only a bad thing when she doesn't like you that much, when she doesn't respect you. Possessive is only a bad thing when she doesn't want to be with you anymore. Girls will brag to their girlfriends about their new boyfriend who's got himself together, he's goal-oriented, he's disciplined, and he's driven. They'll say things like, OMG, he told me the other day you're not going to the beach without me, and I was like, oh, he really likes me. Like, he doesn't want anybody to have me but him. He wants me all to himself. But if they, if they don't really like their new boyfriend, who, by the way, they just settled for because the guy she really liked, Okay, got with another girl. They'll say, that asshole told me I can't go to the beach without him. Can you believe him? He's so possessive. <laughs> Your actions yep. and behaviors are seen differently when the girl you're with really likes you. Never forget that. Emotional That, that depends. That depends. By that depends. Way. Like I said, right? Respect is, is earned. It's not given. You have to earn it. So when a guy... Like I said, women women like assholes, right? We all, every guy in America at this stage knows this. But then you see them in their 40s, in their 50s, in their 60s, complaining, where are all the good men? What they're really saying is, where are all the rich good men to take care of me? When, keep in mind, the, 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 uh, by the way, ladies, most rich guys aren't going to deal with old women, okay? The reason being, because they can get a hot 20-year-old. You're old, do you understand yet? Does it make sense? Probably not, right? I'll say that again. Rich men have options. Young men have options. Middle-aged men have options. And they can get women that are 18, 19, and 20 years old over you. Meanwhile, old women can get young guys, usually guys that want experience with the MILF, sure. But getting an older guy is harder for an older woman and an older guy most of the time will be financially situated and if he is an older guy he knows that she's probably got you know she's reaching that all-timers years coming up where she's going to be a complete fucking bitch or if she per pertains to any attitude at all he's just not going to want to deal with her to begin with the old guy because the old guy's been through that before when he was younger so he's already you know and he's well established and he's got money so he <laughs> he'll pump and dump like the young guys. So again, women's options start limiting really heavily when they get older. Because they have so many issues that are abound, whether it's medical or otherwise. Commitment is not in their forte. So if they still want to sleep around when they're old and depreciating at rapid speeds, and you're the guy that might have wanted to commit to that older broad, by all means, gentlemen, let her go. Let her go. She's not worth your time. She didn't respect you. She's not worth your time. Do you understand? Because at that point, once she's done getting pumped and dumped and her hip starts, you know, breaking and she's got a bunch of medical bills coming up and no guy that pumped and dumped her wants to pay for that, she's going to try to go back to the guy that wanted to commit. But by then, he already knows all her fucking bullshit and her disrespect. Do not deal with it. Let her get a bunch of cats instead. Let her die alone. Fuck her said emotional abuse that is womanese for he doesn't let me get away with bad behavior yes he verbalizes his disapproval and tells me to correct said behavior correct understand this gentlemen and i need you to pay attention here women define a relationship as unhealthy or toxic when cheating is difficult but when it is easy to cheat that relationship is characterized as healthy let me repeat that when a woman is in a relationship where it is hard to cheat, she says it is unhealthy. When it is easy to cheat, she calls it healthy. Today's women want all the freedom and lack of accountability that comes with being single while also getting the commitment, the social status, and the security that comes with being in a relationship. They want it both Boom, ways. Boom, headshot. Yep. Anytime a man doesn't allow her to have it both ways, she calls him toxic. She yep. calls him abusive. She calls him oppressive. Yep. I could end the video right here. I think Donovan already did a good job of 
putting the enough bullets and ammunition through bitches' faces. Uh, sorry, uh, Western United States, you know, Western women's faces, I should say. I said this months ago, right? I've, I've already discussed it on the channel. I've already said it. This just proves my point and that I know what I'm talking about. So, I don't feel bad at all. In fact, I feel very, very happy right now. I'm, I'm, I have the biggest smile on my face. It's, it's pretty funny. Because what I said was true. I now have confirmation it was true. I now have 30k plus other men on Donovan's video that are confirming what I said was true. And some of them have even, you know, great stories. It's just funny. But I'm going to be the king for a very long time. I have no doubts and no worries as of this moment. In fact, I'm, again, just so happy. <laughs> oh, man. So easy just to understand. It's like I know my shit when it comes to women. But yet I don't know anything. I know I'm a terrible. I don't know shit, right? Mm-hmm. I know more than you bitches give me credit for. Shame. So easy to play this game. So easy to manipulate you cunts that think you have the upper hand when you don't. So easy to understand all the tactics and maneuvers you're gonna make every fucking time. Because it's always the same. What, you thought you were the first woman to do it? Thought you were the second? Maybe the third? Maybe the fourth? <laughs> you ladies haven't changed a bit! Early 2000s, early 90s, hell, probably even before then, you haven't changed at all. You're still the same typical, dried up, dying old hags that you're going to be. I love being a guy. It's quite, quite fun. Alright, I'm done here. I've said my piece. I've made my point. And I've gotten the truth from another guy with 30k views on his video from 23 hours ago. Confirming what I've already said. I think I know quite a bit. Now, I'm going to go see what type of guns I'm going to shoot at the range. Because I'm free to do that. Later, bitches.